Hello guys, Kanye is also here. <coughs> I've got a bit of a bad throw, but anyway. I've got a bring you gameplay of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, my random commentary today. Well, not really random, I just plan it out whatever I think on the day I'm going to commentate about. So I've planned to commentate about what games I'm <coughs> looking forward to in the battle as well. Games which I am personally looking forward to. I've actually got down a list of about 10 <clears throat> which I think will be good games what I think uh, what I'm hopefully personally going to be buying. Now in this video there's going to be some speed up because as you know it's quick, kind of quick scoping slash hard scoping slash I just love using the scopes. And there's some speed up because there's just like some areas where it's like a minute of no killing, so I thought you don't, you don't want to see that, and I don't, and uh, well, to be honest, I don't think this commentary will last for like 10 minutes or 11 minutes, whatever, how long it was. <coughs> but anyway, let's begin! <coughs> I'm waiting for my throat, I'm just broken up really. I was about like two hours ago, so my throat's not really well developed yet for the day, but anyway, I will prevail. Okay. The top one on my list is Mass Effect 3. Uh, I've played all of Mass Effects. I've played Mass Effect 1 and 2. And I actually really enjoyed the storyline. I mean, it really immerses you into the game with its universe. Customizations, well, I think the second one had more customizations than the first one, but still. The customization, the weapons, the characters, well, the characters are just amazing. Also, the choices carry on from, from game to game to say if I want to kill Rex in the first one, he won't be like the Krogan leader in the second one. Or if I save Ashley or Caden, um, one of them, one of them will be in Mass Effect 2. But in Mass Effect 3, one of them will actually join us, be part of the new like squad. So I'm, th I'm thinking of buying that for Xbox because I've played all of them on Xbox. I want to get my choice in the first one and um, put in in the second to third. Just in PS3, Devo, De I, I do have a PS3. And I was actually thinking of getting Mass Effect 2 for PS3. But I thought, nah, I may, may as well buy Mass Effect for my Xbox. Then I got Mass Effect 2. And you know, I just want all, all, the, all, you know, all the choices in it. So I put Mass Effect 2 for PS3. Well, it's just like a storyboard, but I'm that good anyway. I am alive. This is like, I think it's going to be a PS3 exclusive. It's like, made by the same people who made Uncharted. So it's going to be, hopefully, like Uncharted. It's about a zombie apocalypse or an infection that makes people into mindless zombies. This is the speed up part I was telling you about. But yeah, I am alive. I've seen the trailer, it looks pretty good. The Witcher 2. I've seen this on PC, I've seen some gameplay. And I've seen that it actually needs a pretty good PC to play it. My PC is proper crap. So I'm thinking I might buy it for Xbox. People are saying it's coming out for PS3. If it is, then hopefully it will be better on PS3 due to the better graphics cards on the Xbox. And the better, you know... It may be harder than the code for, but still I think it would be a lot better. Prototype 2. I've actually played Prototype for PS3 and I actually really enjoyed the game. I think it was, the comp it was a competitor for uh, Infamous, I believe. I think, I think in Infamous stole the show because it had very good lighting effects and choices that made it good or evil, the karma. Not so, not so the characters, but yeah. Prototype 2. It's going to carry on for Prototype 1. There'll be no, there'll be no like, oh, you may have done this choice, we will carry it on to the next. Nothing like that, I think. Um, yeah, it's gonna follow I think, a general of the army who the person you're playing is just trying to destroy. So I think the general's out to destroy him because in the second, one, in the first one, we don't really see the general. So you know, he's trying to stop something. Not yeah, Max Payne Three. I've actually played that. The first Max Payne, God. That was so amazing. I've not played the second one yet. Hopefully, I will do. It is the PS2, so I don't know yet. Max Payne 3. I hopefully it's gonna have the same feel as Max Payne 1. I'm not gonna Max Payne 2. I don't know how that felt. But what? But what I was 
uh, like, you know, the Matrix with its, like, jumping back, um, shooting mechanics and jumping forward to the side, I think it is. I hope that they have a good storyline. I think the first one had an alright storyline. I can't, can't remember it all at the moment. I can't, can't remember it off the top of my head. But, Max Payne 3, it, it, it had actually been, um, it was actually meant to come out in 2012, no, sorry, 2011, like, on, on the fall of 2011, should I say. But, it got pushed back, and it, I actually thought it was come out in 2011, so I was like, oh, friend, you've got to go buy it, it's coming out this year, it's so amazing. And then, it's like, like, oh, it didn't come out, you no, I, I don't know. A lot of games got pushed back. Well, that's a lot of games. Anyway, yep. Um, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. I played actually all the Ghost Recon's um, games. Like, you know, the ones, I think, the ones which had the trailer where the guy shoots through the wall and there's an enemy there and it kills him. That was actually pretty good. I loved that game. I forgot what it's called. But like, Ghost Recon um, Advanced Warfare or Future Warfare. I don't know what it was really, but uh, Future Soldier. I've seen actually some. I've actually seen the demo game for it. It looks pretty good. The demo uh, gameplay shows off its mechanics, its uh, camouflage, weapons. It's actually first-person view as well because, because it's a third-person game. They're gonna actually have some first-person view, like say if you're stationary with a assault rifle, you get to go into first-person view and you can get a lot more accuracy on the guys you're to shoot. Just like. I think what SOCOM did, on SOCOM, it's third person, but if you're zoomed in, it yeah, can put you into the third person view. Yep. Um, look at the time. Um, Bioshock Infinite, I've played first, I've not played second. First played for Xbox, but Xbox was pretty amazing. I, sh I really should play the second one, because I want to, it's, you know, it's not like the first one. The first one was actually really hard for me. I'm not good with it, horrors. I would get pretty scared of horrors. So I, don't, I don't, don't, don't know if I'll play any for, the, for uh, my channel. I might do like, a bit of shits and giggles. I go, ah, I don't know, that. I went away! But, I don't know. Personally, I think I'll, I'll, I'll be buying it, but not as soon as it comes out. So, yeah. Uh, I've seen the literal by, um, Tabuscus, which is pretty good. Far Cry 3, I've not played the first one. Play the second one. Oh, this is just good. The second one was really good. Fire effects were amazing. And hopefully, Bash, um, Far Cry 3 will be just as good. But, Brothers in Arms, I've played first, and uh, um, Hell's Highway, all good. And then Spec Ops The Line, don't have much to say about that, really. Okay, sorry I've had to speed it up at the end, but I hope to see you later. Goodbye.